Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, I'm Anna Jones, and this is my new book, Easy Wins, and I'm gonna make you a recipe from it. I am gonna make the, this one. It's a major favorite. It is the frizzled spring onion and olive oil dip. It's in the olive oil chapter. And it's in the olive oil chapter because it uses quite a lot of olive oil. It kind of brings fun. Fun? Does it bring fun? It brings kind of food fun. Can I say that? It brings food fun to anything you eat. It starts with some spring onions. A whole bunch of them. Spring onion stuck up my sleeve. The wrong sleeves to cook with. <laughs> Um, so that's kind of the base of this and then we're going to layer a few other different flavours on top. And I'm using the white bit and the green bit of the spring onion here because both bits are delicious. Turn the heat on and then about 100 mils of olive oil, all of these spring onions go in here. You kind of want the oil to sort of like nearly cover the spring onions. So I'm going to add some garlic. Sometimes I add garlic, sometimes I don't. And today I'm feeling like garlic. Basically you want the spring onions to kind of frizzle, cook, like brown, go crispy. So once those spring onions are kind of nearly there, we're gonna add some spices. We're gonna add some Turkish chili, some turmeric, the garlic, and a bit of sugar. The sugar is gonna kind of just take the edge off the onions and the chili and just give it this really kind of rounded sweetness, which is so good. And so for the yogurt, you just want a really like thick yogurt, basically. You can buy thick yogurt like this from the supermarket, um, but if you can't or wherever you are doesn't stock it, then you can strain your yogurt. So to do that, you literally just put it in a sieve even it could be lined with muslin if you have that kind of thing in your home or just some kitchen paper or it could just even be in a fine sieve and then you'll just leave that for a couple of hours and you'll get a lovely thick yogurt so got our yogurt and then i'm gonna add some lime zest so while you're doing that you can just keep an eye on your spring onions they're kind of you can see they're sort of slightly browning at the edges but they're not really crisp yet, but you can sort of hear the change in the oil. It's gone into a sort of crackling, sort of bubbling sound. And that's basically when the water has evaporated and the spring onions are actually kind of starting to crisp. So if you're doing other jobs like I am, just kind of make sure that you're keeping one eye on the spring onions because as with anything fried, it can go from kind of like looking delicious and browned to a bit burnt and bitter like really really quickly. We're just going to go with the juice of one line because I don't want to kind of water down the yogurt too much. So a good pinch of salt because you just want the yogurt to be nicely salty and you can kind of give this a taste because you want it, you want it to taste really limey, really salty, not really salty but nicely salty. So I'm gonna throw in the garlic and we're just gonna wait for those little edges of the garlic to brown. The spring onions, everything is looking good. We've got some brown bits. The spring onions have kind of crisped up. The garlic has gone like crispy and lightly brown. Add half a teaspoon of turmeric, just ground turmeric. Gonna add a teaspoon. This is Turkish chili for Aleppo pepper. Um, if you're using normal chili flakes, I'd use a little bit less. And then some caster sugar from this giant jar. I'm just gonna add about a teaspoon of caster sugar and that's gonna kind of counter the sort of crispy fried flavor from the onions and the garlic. I think this is the recipe that I've probably made the most in this book so far. It's because it's really easy, but also because it's one of those things that is really amazing to have a pot of in the fridge. So I've made it for parties as like a dip, as it was kind of originally intended, but I've also made it as kind of something to go on the side of like when I've made 
a chili or even like tacos um, or a stew, I've made this to go on the side and it is one of those kind of like things that amps up flavor really quickly and easily. And also I think this is the spirit of easy wins. It's like one simple technique, not loads of ingredients, but something that tastes really good, really quickly and changes kind of your eating and cooking for the better. I'm gonna pile all of this on top of my yogurt. You don't want to kind of stir it completely. You want it kind of ripply. You want to see some crispy bits of garlic. You want to see some crispy bits of onion. We need something to dip in. Dip in, dip in, to dip in this. I like warming flatbreads like this because you get a good bit of char on your bread and it's really quick but a dry pan or in the oven would also work really well. So. Mm. It's got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's a frizzled spring onion dip. Really wins. Say that with my mouthful. Chic.